Hello and welcome to Sports 5 TV. We're joined by former world and European indoor champion Perry Shakes Uh So what are you doing here today at the Aquatic Centre? I'm here today to kind of just share my knowledge and wisdom to um, the young girls here today. Um, you know, there's loads of tables and basically we've got 10 minutes to kind of introduce ourselves and the girls to ask as many questions as they like, you know, and the good thing about this, I think it's a really great concept, is that it's not only about being an athlete, just to give the girls insight that there are actually other fields and avenues that you can go into um, in the sporting world. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, growing up, what inspired you? What first inspired you to get involved in sport? I kind of got into sport around the age of 11 um, from primary school. There was no one in particular that um, I looked up to. I didn't actually watch many sporting events. In my household, it was all about football. Um, so in terms of Olympic games and stuff, I wasn't in touch with that. You know, people would name certain iconic people. I wouldn't have a clue, you know. So it was the kind of thing I kind of got into because I enjoyed. I was okay. I wasn't the best, but something that I enjoyed. And I just, just continued to work hard and, you know, made a lot of sacrifices to get where I am to today. So you just touched on it briefly there, your first sport in memory. Do you have one that particularly stands out that you go, I remember that, obviously not watching it, but perhaps playing as a child? English schools. English schools was a big thing for me when I was young. Um, you know, you went to, I went to represent London, you know, so I went through the trials of represent, going, representing my school, then you got going representing your borough, then I went to represent London. And to me, that was a big thing. Um, I think it took me my second year doing it that I ended up getting a record for 300 meter hurdles. Yeah. And I was, you know, I, it was a great memory and you know I've got a few pictures and that to remind me and every time I think about it I just, it just smile on my face because that's when I kind of believed in myself at that point I thought you know I can go far with this. And that's the first time you properly thought this I can make a career out of this? Yeah and that was around the age of 16. And what would you have done if you hadn't have been a professional athlete? If I wasn't a professional athlete um, I probably would have done something uh, down the academic route. I mean um, to me, sport and academia are just both are just well as important. So I want to do the best at both of them. Um, what exactly I want to do, I don't know. I do, I do have a degree in sports science. Um, so you know, I probably would have went done something along involved in sport, or maybe on the creative side because I do like the, like the fashion design. So I'm into that. So maybe that could have been a possible. Oh, nice. And uh, so what does the future hold for you? Obviously, you're coming back from an injury now. How's it all feeling? I mean, I mean, it's been 19 months post-injury, surgery, should I say. I mean, it's been a tough time. You know, I don't wish injury on anybody. And I think that's the worst part of being an athlete because you don't, with injury, you don't know what's around the corner. But I mean, I'm, you know, it's all going well now. You know, with injuries, I've had ups and downs going through this injury. But I have come a long way and I can't wait to make my comeback. Um, hopefully you'll see me back on the track later on this year. Rio 2016, still a dream. And that is still a dream and that is in my plans, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you've got in a sporting sense? Best piece of advice in a sporting sense? Who's the person that's giving you the best piece of advice? Um, well, I always have this motto, hard work pays off. What you put into it, 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 it's that what you get out of it and I apply that in academia and in sports and it does work you know it, it really does and passing on a message to the girls today what would you say Sam your one piece of advice ask as many questions as you can definitely don't be, yeah, don't be afraid you don't look you don't look silly to me the most intelligent people ask the most questions brilliant thank you very much Perry thank cheers you. thanks and good luck yeah, thank I'm you. hoping to see you back out on the track